Now I'm gonna keep it real with you, dude. This is worse than Mr. Obvious. So today we're here to talk about Ma underscore Bucket, uh, which is a Roblox developer. He developed some old games that I played, such as like Grab the Child, Cleaning Simulator, if I'm not wrong. So most of you probably already heard of this situation, but for you guys that have not heard of the situation, this document right here summarizes everything. First of all, content warning, pedophilia, zoophilia, incest, sexual assault. So you know that when a document starts with this, it's not gonna be good, <laughs> you know? Yesterday, a video was released about Andrew, known by the names of Ma underscore Budget, Awkward Brick, Drew Wicker, and I underscore I. It details how Andrew had a separate identity from the one he used on Roblox, one where he has made it open that he's a pedophile and a zoophile. By the way, if you guys want more screenshots of this situation, I'm going to leave a link down below for a video that I found really interesting and is a very good watch. Andrew had left a comment on the video leaving a sarcastic remark, confirming what was brought to light is true. Despite previously being friends with Andrew for years, I was completely unaware for, uh, of any of this. As a quick summary of what's in the video, Andrew had shown interest in sexually assaulting children as young as eight years old you oh my god dude sent sexual pictures to a 14 year old encouraged that 14 year old to sexually assault their younger brother and admits to sexually assaulting his little sister like when you think it cannot get worse it gets worse and and when you think it cannot get worse than what was actually worse it gets worse, dude. Even though Andrew claims to have been in therapy as of September, the fact that he kept putting himself in an environment which encouraged this behavior as recently as last month does not give me any confidence in Andrew bettering himself and preventing this behavior from continuing in the future. I've been in contact with Andrew's mom, who is thankfully aware of the situation. By the way, if you're not aware of this, Andrew still lives with his mom. From what I've been told, Andrew's sister is safe, and there are no plans to contact the authorities with these details. Oh my god, dude. I am uh, in shock, you know what I'm saying? Like, l l yesterday when I watched the video was already 1am, so I was not caring about it, but now that I read this again... Bro, this is 10 times worse than Mr. Obvious. This is... This is possibly the worst person we had in the history of Roblox, you know what I'm saying? And as you can see, Roblox was extremely quick with taking action with this guy, which was not the case with Mr. Obvious, because he was only banned like four, five years after the incident. Kevin is a seven, Arsenal, and multiple other games have taken steps to remove the Predator, Ma Bucket's work. Please respect the game developer's privacy at this time with these games. Thank you. This guy is absolutely ruined. This guy is going to jail. This guy is like EDP. You know what I'm saying? But in Roblox, it is the Roblox and EDP. I, 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 don't, I don't get it, dude. You see, this is the kind of stuff that gives Roblox a bad reputation. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's all fine and good and then boom, a pedophile, a child predator, a zoophile. All in one. It, it, it was a, it was a foreign one, you know what I'm saying? And a rapist as well, I forgot about that one. Yeah, honestly guys, I, I just hope you pray for the victims and stuff, because this is kind of serious, you know? I absolutely hate this guy with all of my heart, and and he does not deserve forgiveness. Really hope the RTC does not forget about this drama in one month and forgives the guy, because that is a reoccurring thing in the Roblox RTC. Well, thank you guys for watching, I absolutely hate my life. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, join my Discord server, goodbye.